Hey, gang, welcome to the Are You Garbage Comedy Podcast. Make sure you subscribe so you get the videos as they come out. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey! everybody out there Mm -hmm. and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast this is are you garbage it's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians and we find out they grew up to be classy or if they're just a big old piece of trash oh yeah i'm your host h foley coming at you on a beautiful day we're down here at antody's basement the sixers you fucking stink you're putting (laughs) this woman through fucking hell Two packs of noopies she did yesterday. Two packs of noopies and two mortgage payments <laughs> out the fucking door because Ben Simmons can't do a fucking free throw. Yeah. But that's neither here nor there. My co-host is coming at you from across the table. He's kind of the head big head around here. Uh, he's an international businessman, so show him a little fucking respect. Give it up for Kevin, James, Brian, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, Kelvin. The three, <laughs> the three of us all stood in the run like he's got the biggest head. He's in charge. <laughs> biggest head, biggest brain. You do the math. There you go. Uh, what's up, gang? Happy to be here. Thanks for tuning in. We fucking love you. Love you. Uh, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Do it. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, sure. those numbers are true to roof. True to fucking mm-hmm. roof. I'm talking about cooking. We're going to mm-hmm. need a union roofer to get in here. Mm-hmm. Do a couple of patches. Maybe redo the whole thing. A couple of no-bid contracts. <laughs> and then also, uh, obviously, Patreon. Patreon.com. You sign up at patreon.com slash are you garbage. You don't even know the bonus content you're getting. Getting a whole other podcast. It's called Hard Feelings. Listen, you get bonus episodes of AYG. We're doing weekly. We got Fat Court on there. By the way, my cousin texted me. He goes, dude, Fat Court, (laughs) the way Foley can lie is insane. I go, I feel like it's like sitting across from a serial killer with this. Shout guy. out to the Hedro Theater. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to the Iceman. <laughs> <laughs> the Classically trained liar. <laughs> Jesus. No, it's so it's so apparent too. Nah. Yeah, you think you're lying, but uh, it's it's you think we're buying it, but we're not. Do I? <laughs> Maybe you're lying. <laughs> uh, and then also hard feelings. So behind the curtains, me and the big man chopping it up. We love it. It's like the HR. It's the airing of the grievances. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we got a lot of them around his dump. Yeah. Tell so, you that. so check that out as well. And then um, uh, live streams with the patrons. And also like we have episodes. Episodes stay there. We have episodes with our, the first episode ever we did with our moms. Mm-hmm. We called fucking we called Denise and Patty. Yeah. Played AYG with them. Those I mean, we got hillies. me doing milk with dinner. We mm-hmm. got there's so much shit on there. We it's have good stuff. We have both cribs episodes. Both cribs. All, my childhood home, your childhood home. Got the limo. Got the limo. I mean, guys, what are you doing? Sign up today, Patreon. That game. Number one in customer service. Yeah. All right. For Number sure. one in value, mm-hmm. and that's passed on to you and your family. And in these trying times, who couldn't use a little extra oh, yeah. money? How no, about an, I, there's no guarantee, though. <laughs> <laughs> All sales are final. How about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire. He's gearing up for a big weekend. We're heading down to AC, if I can say that. Keeping it evergreen. Oh man, those shows in AC were so good. Yeah, this so is much coming fun out in Chicago. After. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're you're always so worried about evergreen. Meanwhile, you're talking about the fucking Sixers game last night. They say coming out till next week. They've oh, been out of the tournament for yeah. fucking two weeks. Oh, uh, don't say that. Well, let's say uh, then what time? I should be at my arraignment right now in uh, Cape May County Courthouse. <laughs> 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 Give it up for T Bone McMuffin, Toby McMullen. Oh, What's yeah. up, dudes? Good what to up, see bro? you, pal. Uh, had a fucking. Amazing experience on the train. T Bone got recognized in the wild for the first oh. time. Oh, it's a good feeling, right? It's wow. nice. It was nuts, yeah. dude. Hey, are you the guy that fucks up the audio? <laughs> <laughs> My favorite new podcast. Hey, are you the guy that won't shut up? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to do jokes on air. He pulled a knife and was like, hey, if you keep talking. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Nick in Connecticut. Real Nick nice a. guy. Shout out Nicky. E. He was on the same train I was on that was flooding. I saw that. T Bone was taking on water on a train. You know you're hemmed up. I've never seen anything. Your train's got was even it raining? Though. No, dude. It's a couple TikTok kids got in the bathroom, ripped some pipes out of the wall. Really? Yeah, the conductor came through, opened up like the back 
hatch to the all where all the pumps are. Looked at it, just exhaled, shook his head, and walked yeah. away. <laughs> you kept I'm in a union. This thing, don't, this don't fall under my responsibilities. You gotta love them TikTok kids. And if, uh, from what I understand, no cap. We got a hot new intern that has us on TikTok. We do. Shout out, yeah. Just check out uh, Are You Garbage on TikTok. Shout out to the Bud Light intern. That's what we've been calling him. Bli, uh, good guy. The Bli, Bud Light intern. Good Profes- kid. Professional wakeboarder. <laughs> he does. He's a beach guy. Really? He's got a good body on him. Too, Tight body. Kid. Tight body. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. I, on the other hand, do not. No. Shout out to Fat Court. Wakeboard. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Fat Court. We have one more episode today that we're recording. This is one more, two more check-ins. So this is the this is the final check-in to Fat Court, and then uh, next week is the final weigh-in. Mm-hmm. If you're not on that Patreon, it is a roller coaster. We're having a good time on these. No, that'll, be out, that'll out. be out this weekend that you're hearing this. Yeah, but there's still one more check-in. Oh, that's out, I guess. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dun, 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 oh, dun, buddy. dun. This guy's fat. <laughs> Six Flags is going to buy us because this thing's a fucking roller coaster, baby. <laughs> Couple of Swedes putting mm. it together. I do want to. I do. I do need to make an, uh, an apology because I've been getting fucking beat up in the YouTube comments. I know exactly what it's going to be. Yeah, I made a joke. Running his lip. I made a joke off about our young cool audience. Yeah, uh, I was trying to think maybe it's teenagers. I don't know. I was trying to make a joke. I said only nobody under thirty two listens or watches this <clears throat> show, which I know is factually false. Yep. Our bread and butter is twenties. And 30s. That's Trending it. Trending with the 18 to 25 demo. Ah, well, maybe a couple Especially of after my no cap t-shirt. <laughs> well, that's what, the, them in. that's what the joke came from, I think. <laughs> but literally, you must, you would have said, like, I you know, told you to, like... Yeah. I, that was the most divisive thing I've ever said on here. Mm-hmm. People are like, I'm fucking 20, you jerk off. Yeah. Yeah. Cue ball. You look 100. I'm like, okay, <laughs> thanks. I apologize for that. <laughs> Um, but shout out to all the young listeners. Yeah, yeah, tell those young kids to steal their parents' credit card, buy a goddamn Helix mattress. Or a Patreon. <laughs> there you go. Shout out to Helix. Oh, I don't know, maybe. Maybe next week. <laughs> maybe shout out to Helix next week. <laughs> Guys, we're having fun here. I would like to formally apologize. I'm a man of principle. When I found it, when I'm wrong, I address it and say Thank I'm you. wrong. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. I still that. think you're fat. I don't think I'm wrong about that. I'm going, hey. yeah. Evidence uh, points in all directions that you're correct on that. <laughs> Some guy know. goes, also, Kippy, do you forget that you're fat? I'm like, there's a difference between 225 and 4 on, though, okay? <laughs> Especially at the craps table. <laughs> Nose wide open. Yeah. Um, Gang, we're back here with a family episode. It's just me, the Kipperino, and T-Bone McMuffin. Uh, we love you guys. As you know, when you sign up for Patreon, you'll get a question read on the air. On the air. On the air. And that's what we're here to do today. We love you guys. We appreciate all your love and support. We're excited. It's going to be a great summer, man. Doing yeah. our thing. Um, yeah, guys, we fucking love you. If you're coming out on the road, we can't wait to fucking. We can't, can't wait, wait to, to meet. Listen, we want to meet. This is so new. For, like, not to be corny or whatever. This is all so new for us. So, like, if you do see us in the street, say what's up. I want to take. Like, I want to fucking talk to everybody. We need the human contact. Yeah, let's, let's quit screwing around. <laughs> it's us three in this fucking studio. <laughs> Tony, who knows where the fuck she is? Uh, but I can't wait to meet everybody. Pictures, the whole nine yards, hanging out, shaking hands, kissing babies. We love it. Can't wait to meet everybody. We love it. We love it. We love it. Uh, we will not stay at your place. <laughs> yeah, a couple of people offered for me to, uh, you know, for us to stop by their place. I might. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, can I trade in my room voucher? I got a local guy I'm staying with. For the young kid, send pictures of the mat. Let's see what she looks You're like. Be asking me for a travel buyout. <laughs> Kippy, how much was my room? Return it. I'm staying with I'm staying with Gary in Cincinnati. <laughs> Gary's mom's a hot piece. What are you gonna do? What would it take for you to stay with a Listener, not much. Yeah, you're not. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. You say that though, mm-hmm. but you're a specific kind of guy. I mean, I would enjoy, you know, something a little upscale. I mean, if I if, no way, you'd stay at a place for a steakums and a Kool Aid. If I want run of the mill, I go down to fucking Patty's and fucking do it up down there. Yeah, you got to have some kind of McMansion. It's got to be a three, four room house, multiple bathrooms. I like my privacy. <laughs> um, you can stay at our place. You need to remodel that after Foley's done with it. <laughs> yeah, a they pool gotta... wouldn't be bad. A mom that knows how to cook, you know, and keep her yap shut. Uh, <laughs> full cable package, of course. <laughs> that, what are you moving in? None of that direct what, TV. What are you shit. signing a lease? <laughs> the fuck are you told he's staying your name right <laughs> what is included on this garage garage fridge kids would be okay i love kids you know what i mean plus the snacks yeah not a bad look that's good we'll see 
We'll see. Me, on the other hand, I like I like my I like my own domicile. Those guys are real germaphobe. I don't like I don't even like staying at a buddy's place. I'm like, yo, you hit the bricks, all right? I'll get an Airbnb or something. <laughs> I'm not a couch guy, so unless you got a fucking spare room, hit the bricks. And I don't mean a spare room like where there's like a fucking exercise bike in there. I want nice, <laughs> an I want old nice treadmill setup. with clothes on it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a Helix. The twins offered me the keys to their place because they're going to be out of town when I'm in Chicago. They're like, stay at our place. So I might bring fleas back to the studio. Oh, no. <laughs> you're not staying with. You're not staying in a yurt or whatever the fuck those kids do. They're, that ain't happening. They're circus fleas. <laughs> <laughs> step right up. Step right in. Look, guys, I know it's weird, but they're hard workers. Oh, Jesus Christ. You ever see a flea on a trampoline? <laughs> Toby's like, hey, the bearded lady needs to do five minutes on the first show in Chicago. <laughs> Ah, I can't wait to get to Chi Town. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. I'm good having stuff. a couple of pops out there. A couple of pops. A couple of pops. Good stuff. Yeah. All right, let's All right, get into let's it. Let's get into it. We got a couple of fucking heaters. Ooh. And I I don't know if this one's uh, directed at me, but this is. Uh, Does it say Dear Jerk Off? <laughs> <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> really? Doreen Sweeps Week. Hmm. Um, all right. <laughs> Our contracts are up, man. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? You're <laughs> fucking going at the, you better coming at the king. You best not miss that, yo. Uh, um, this is from Piravine. It just said, Piravine? Piravine? Sure. Ah. I don't know why you're hemming me up on the pronunciation <laughs> of this name. I'm clearly guessing that. I believe it's Peter. But <laughs> it's Pintner. <laughs> Pintner. Uh, Pier, yeah, Piravine. Uh, P I R A V E E N. Sounds classy. Yeah. P Dog. P money, I'm there calling them. There you go, P money. It just says dirtball detector. How many syllables in the word necklace? Is it necklace or necklace? Uh, Which I necklace. 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 I might throw a small a necklace. I, mean a I necklace. might throw a small a in there. Two. It's two. Necklace. Yeah. Necklace. Yeah, yeah. Which doesn't sound right when I say it multiple times. So I bought my mom a necklace. Bought you my, mu- say it. Bought, an emerald, bought my mom an emerald necklace. You're trying. I can. You're. Tr- I can hear you trying to stick the landing on necklace, though. All right. Let me put myself in the situation. Start screaming at me. You stupid whore. <laughs> <laughs> you fat piece of shit. I bought you the fucking necklace, didn't I? Yeah. You, there it, you go. Yeah. I get. But a, a big one in my family is pocketbook. Pock a book instead of pocketbook. Pocketbook. First of all, calling a person whether you're saying <laughs> pocketbook or pocketbook. That's trash. Pocketbook. A pocketbook. There was like a story where my cousin was like, yeah, can you get, she was at college, went away to college for the first time. She's like, can you grab my pocketbook? And the girl was like looking through her room like, what the fuck is I'm like Googling pocket? Like I had no idea what the fuck he was talking about. <laughs> yeah, my pocketbook. Pocketbook's a big one in my family. Uh, big, huge. That sounds like a book that has like different <laughs> skin ailments in it. <laughs> hmm. What kind of pocket? Let me check my pocketbook here. That looks a little discolored. That's trash. Calling it a pocketbook is bad. That's all Denise calls it. The same thing with. Where's uh, my? I think it's in my pocket. What do you call the vacuum cleaner? The vacuum. The vacuum. The vacuum cleaner to me is trashy. It's the vacuum. We call we would call it the cleaner or the sweeper. Get the sweeper. Oh no, that's not right. No, that's like no. Uh, uh-uh. that's like saying I'm watching the TV. No, you don't. It's no good. No. Yeah. That's that's along the time with clicker. You're just you're just calling it what the function of it. It clicks and it sweeps. By the way, a sweeper would be a broom. One of my dad's chores every day is to run this run the sweeper <laughs> on his PP. <pee-pee. laughs> <laughs> and not too bad. I might come over. What time? What time are chores? This guy's a real neat freak. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at the TV. Looking at the TV is bad. I'm watching TV. Watching TV. Yeah. Clicker's no good. We mm-hmm. we've we've touched on that. But it's vacuum. It's not a sweeper. A broom would be a sweeper. Yeah, if you wanted to call something a sweeper, it's a broom. It's definitely not a vacuum or a sucker or something. Get the sucker. <laughs> Get the sucker. <laughs> Get the, my ex-girlfriend shows up. Get the... Mm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You guys know what they call it in the UK? A blow Wait, wait, wait. Call what? The vacuum cleaner? Yep. Um, or my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I can think of a couple of words for both. Uh, what do they call a vacuum cleaner in England? Um, it's probably like a fucking charley horse or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. something a little magical. <laughs> Sitting there, put my peck in a charley horse. <laughs> uh, vacuum cleaner in England. Um, You're not going to get this. Just tell us. What is it? A Hoover. Oh, well, that's the brand. Hoover. Yeah, we were talking about getting a Dyson the other day. What? Yeah. We're doing that well? Well, listen. <laughs> 
Now I know why the ad money hasn't gotten here. This guy's dabbling online. No, so uh, Dyson. We, yeah, they the, make jet engines. I know. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, maybe your jets. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what, what airline do you fly in? <laughs> Let me get three on Dyson Air, please. That's like Saab. Saab makes fucking jets. So does Rolls Royce. They all make engines and stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, pretty good. Um, uh, yeah, she was like, well, I think about just getting a Dyson. Her friend's got, her friend in the building has one. And we got this, like, she. You're in that highfalutin building. That's going to cost. Because <laughs> you got to keep up with the Joneses. I know, yeah. Yeah. But she, we bought one. She don't, the broad don't like. You're an Electrolux guy. The bro- nah, dude, with the bro- don't, she don't like spending money. To get her to spend money, it's like... The bird? She don't like spending. She bought this dump. That's why she's got it. <laughs> <laughs> she don't like spending. I got to be like, yeah, come on. What are we doing? She like... She What's was, a Dyson these days? Couple hundy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, Toby, pull up a Dyson. A smaller one because we live in an apartment. The only time I spend a couple hundy is when it's in a cellophane bag. <laughs> Couple of nose beers. Catch my drift. Give me a thirty rack of nose beers. Call it a nizzite. Talk about the sweet. Call it a night and a morning and an afternoon. Talk about the Hoover, huh? <laughs> Look around to my nose. Dyson is tripping, bro. They're expensive. Dude, for one without even the, the, the fat receptacle to hold all the gunk. Like the one in the handle, probably. Yeah, the one that's like it's all up top. Yeah. It's like seven hundred bucks. Seven hundred. No way. No way. I buy a used one. <laughs> Oh, that's trash. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I'm still gonna di- Dyson's a Dyson, okay? <laughs> pull up to the fucking pull up to the show with a Dyson. Wait a second, but the one with the beach ball at the bottom gives you all the maneuverability. That's only that's only five. That doesn't make any sense to me. The, yeah. the thinner one is more expensive. Yeah, probably. This is sword. rich people stuff. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to figure it out. I'm looking at your knees right now. <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah, and shoulders for some reason. <laughs> Basketball shorts. On stage. I got fresh cargoes on. Did you ever wear those basketball shorts on stage, by the way? No, show got canceled. Oh, that's right. (laughs) Oh, man. I was on that show with you. Yeah. Oh, I would have let you have it. Um, I just work it into a bit, whatever. I got robbed. (laughs) What? (laughs) He's he's, still going to flush it out. These bozos eat it up. (laughs) Um, We're thinking, I don't, because right now we just got like a $25, $30 John that we got because we were like hemmed up cash. $25? Yeah, it stinks. We literally did a test where it was like it threw like a piece of hair on the ground, like a piece of paper, and you just fucking right over it. Who did that? What do you mean? You did that at the house? At the house. I'm like, this thing stinks. I thought you meant like the showroom or something. No, we ordered it on fucking Amazon. Best seller or something. (laughs) I thought you were at the vacuum cleaner convention. And it's like... (laughs) Did you you guys have a dust buster growing up? Yeah, and a dirt devil. The dirt devil was nice. That's just a vacuum cleaner. No, the handheld plug, like the powerful thing. Really? Yeah, this thing would fucking... It could eat a... We had the dirt... The dust buster... The bzzz. Mm-hmm. Then we had the big power, John. We weren't a Dustbuster family. I always wanted one. No, not going to happen. Wall mounted at the Ryans? Wall mounted? Yeah, you dust mounted buster. on the wall. Oh, no. No. No? no. Single mom's not mounting that on the wall. This was in the front closet. <laughs> She's too busy getting mounted herself. Huh? Am I right? You hear that, Ma? <laughs> you hear that? He walked into that, Denise, on your dirty floor. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> what are you talking about? We got we got a dirt devil. Ain't no dirty floors around here. We had a cleaning lady, too. Nice. Shout out to Esther and then Denise. The dirt really? devil's what fully calls his dick. <sighs> I almost made that joke 30 seconds ago, and I didn't do it, so I couldn't <laughs> give it to you. <laughs> what the fuck? Thank God. I chose not to do it. What was the question? <sighs> I forget. Oh, necklace. Pocketbook. Yeah, pocketbook. Dyson, necklace. somehow we got there. Yeah. Um, yeah, so am I, I mean, not for seven hundo, I ain't becoming a Dyson, nah, d- Dyson family. Here. Those fans are nice that they have, though. That bladeless Jones. <sighs> I don't know how that works. Neither do I. I don't know what happens. I'm so, I don't know, trashy. I don't know if it's trashy or what it is, but that to even like have, I would never even price that out. What do you mean? That bladeless fan. I just go, well, I'm not a, I'm not bladeless fan people. No, I'm, I'm, a fu- a, I'm a fucking box give fan. Give me a box fan. Or one, of the, one of those round ones. What, they're selling it at, at a drugstore. That's yes. Where, that's where I do my I fan I wouldn't even purchases. know where to get a fucking... I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if it's just I'm so fucking... We, we never spend money on that. I, you got to go to know. like Harry's and Sonoma's or something like that. Harry's and Sonoma's? What's that place called? William and Sonoma's. Oh, him too. Yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> him too. Good guy. <laughs> These guys are all right. You got to go somewhere classy. Um, get dice. Yeah. I don't know. Um, well, fucking seven hundo for a dice. Not fuck that. It's getting electrolytes. Happening. This one's uh, this one's a fucking home run. Oh, this is another thing. Growing up, I wanted to ask 
talking on vacuums. Did you have the proper one with the bag, or did you have the little container that follows you around? Obviously, the classiest one that was in the walls. That was the classiest version of yeah, that. Yeah. My neighbor but had that. But that was for a limited time in the 90s on home construction. I got a call with my pee and that thing a couple, had, a, <laughs> had a couple of sleepovers. This guy's fucking the wall again. Yeah. Um, no, we, had a, we were an Electrolux family. I believe door to door. I think someone got their hooks on my mom early. All right. And then we were. We, Saw that broad coming a mile away. We were Electrolux. But no, we had the, uh, we had the base. This was the 80s. Like the like the packet, like the box with the like, with the tube to the handle. No, it it, it was a it, it looked like a like a wiener dog, like a huge wiener dog. It had a wheels on it, and then it had a tube, and then it went up into the thing that 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 vacuumed. It wasn't a one piece. It is now. If at any point a door to door salesman has stepped foot in your house, you are from garbage stock. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we've had a couple. Never. Couple of guys. That's old. That was bef- that was eighties still. That wasn't really around in the nineties. I much. remember we had one guy that got there like right before my dad came home, and we he was fucking working my mom over in the living room, and my dad came. <laughs> Love you, Patty, but this is a lob up. I'm sure he was. <laughs> it's my job. I got to make this. He was jokes. working her over in the living room. Doggy, or what are we talking about? <laughs> he was actually very gentle. <laughs> Throwing that dirt double at her. <laughs> there it is. There it came back. There you go. Uh, my dad walked in and was like, You out meatloaf yeah. table now. <laughs> I that got it. Oh, I used to do that. I told you I used to do the door to door, sell windows, siding, and roofing. Did you ever close a deal? I wasn't a closer. I would get them interested and send the closer out. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, yeah, listen, you know, it's real cheap. 50 you, were bucks the, a- you were the kid that went around and smashed all the windows. No, they, <laughs> no, no. Now I, you need one. <laughs> now you just can't leave. Uh, I would. I was like the marketing guy. I would go around and then like I would be like, you know. Marketing guy. Yeah. Well, that, no, that's what it was. <laughs> no, so we would send the canvassers out, right? These like derelict, delinquent kids, you know. Send them out. They knock on the doors, and if they go, I, and I would be in the neighborhood, and be like, "Hey, I got. I think I got a live one here." I would go qualify the lead to find out if it was like good or not. You know, I'd be mm-hmm. like, "Hey, how long you been looking this or that? Have you have any other quotes?" Because then the you're just the, in the neighborhood. Yeah, in a minivan. I'd call the cops on all oh, of these. And a heart happened a couple of two, take three a times. fucking yeah. hike with that. Uh, so I would go qualify the lead to be like, "Okay, this is worth sending a salesman out to." Otherwise, like you know. Because then the salesman gets out there and they're in for blood. They get out there and be like, they're real slow. Oh, do they be like forty eight grand to get your windows done? I'm like, it's a fucking trailer park, you bozo. That guy's not spending forty eight grand to get his windows done. Hit the fucking bricks. (laughs) That's trash. On the same one, this is from Omar. Do you have a no trespassing sign in your front yard? (laughs) That and a beware a dog sign. Beware a dog. We've done is bad, but a no trespassing. Why did you have a beware a dog? No, I'm saying we've done on the show. Oh, we said okay. it was not too long ago. Yeah, but, uh, I know a people... trespassing sign or a no solicitor sign is always tough, too. Yeah. that's I didn't even know what solicitor meant. I thought, <laughs> thought it was some kind of Italian. Um... <laughs> Are they the darker ones from the South? <laughs> no Sicilians. No Sicilians. Um, the beware of dog sign and not having a dog is trash. The no trespassing was just so uninviting. Who's going near your house? Yeah, and it's like you're not that important to begin with. Yeah, we never had any of those things. I hated that stuff. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying my mom didn't steal a fucking ADT sticker from the fucking guy doing a job next door. Sure. Put it in the window to fucking keep people on their toes. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. there was no cameras. <laughs> yeah, I picked up on No it. system. Yeah. Just a dog. Um, That's funny. Yeah, no, we were never... I also, I think in the '90s that stopped the coming on like that. That was big in the '80s, the door to door shit. The '90s was more catalogs. I feel. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Can't do it now with Covey. No, gang. This episode is brought to you by our good friends over there at Stamps. dot com. The best. The best. The best because, in the biz. You know who wants to wait in line at the post office? Not me. Stuff's opening back up. You want to get out there? You got things to do. Up. You got BBQs. You got movies. Got to hit the to. pool, the beach. Hit the pool, the beach. Not waiting in line. Use stamps.com. We use them. We love them. They've helped out thousands and thousands of small businesses all across the country and saved them tons and tons of money. Mm-hmm. They get special rates, special deals with USPS and UPS, and you don't got to go anywhere. You nope. do it all right from your office or home. Yeah, guys. Uh, it brings the same U.S. postal and UPS uh, shipping services right to you from your computer. All you need is a computer. A printer and the internet. I don't care if you got a house, a car, an office, whatever you got. 
You can print official U.S. posted shipping labels 24-7 without ever having to leave your desk or buy any fancy equipment. All you need is a computer or standard printer. Once it's ready, you can drop it in the mail. They can come pick it up. We do it. We use we send out all the cards and all the merch that way. It's easy peasy. They sent us the setup. The printer, bada bing, it just prints it out. I feel, yeah, I feel like I work at UPS or something. It's a good time. It's nice. I feel official. You're nice. Print, mm, mm, mm. You got the print. You lick it and stick it. He even puts on the brown shirt and the shorts. <laughs> Pulls the socks up. Uh, yeah, guys, it's a no-brainer. Uh, and they offer deals you can't get anywhere else, like 40% of U- U- USPS and up to 66% off UPS rates. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, so stop wasting time. Go to the post by going to stop wasting time. Going to the post office and go to stamps.com instead. There's no risk. And with our promo code garbage, you get a special offer that includes a four week trial uh, plus a free postage and digital scale. No long term commitments or contracts. Now go to stamps. use the promo code bozos. Go to stamps.com. Click the promo code at the click the microphone at the top of the homepage. Type in garbage. That's stamps.com. Promo code garbage. Do it. Do it. Gang, real quick, let's talk about one of our favorite sponsors, Fume. Mm -hmm. We know them. We love them. Canadian-made wooden inhaler with the power of super plants. Mm -hmm. Okay? No chemicals, no electronics, just all natural. Relaxation. All right? Great, great, great nicotine alternative. Yeah. Great for allergies. Yeah. It's good stuff. Great stuff. You know what they told the chemicals? What'd they tell them? Kick rocks. Hit the bricks. Yeah, hey. We don't want you. We don't need you. Chemicals. You got rocks? Kick them. All natural. It feels nice in your hand, too. It's good quality... Good quality Canadian made wood. I yeah. Tell you. Let me see that thing. It's, it's nice, good. Man. It's good for the oral fixation, the hand to mouth type thing. You get mm-hmm. to pull on something. It's not a vape. It's there's no harmful chemicals, nicotine, nothing. Uh, they their Conquer Cure. Uh, it's the name of the cure that they use for. It's the number one quitting smoking from start to finish. They taste great. Uh, they got a minty, earthy taste. Sweet, uh, a little bit of sweetness mixed in there. Black pepper. Tell them about the black pepper. Oh, a little bit of Pretty black. Neat. A little bit of black pepper. Kills the nicotine cravings. Eases the nic- nicotine cravings. Black pepper. Who'd have thought? Pe- peppermint in there for the cooling, a little menthol menthol kick. You know what I mean? I like it. And lavender to ease the pain of Ooh, quitting. Lower the shoulders a bit. Take sure. the edge. It's all about taking the edge off. That's what it is. And that's what they do. So head to breathefume.com. Check out their Quit Naturally pack. It comes with one fume and two packs of Conquer Cures to get you on your journey to breathing free of addiction. The link's going to be in the bio. Make or the description. Make sure you, you let them know you're using uh, by using our promo code garbage for ten percent off your uh, entire order today. Yeah. Uh, one more time. That's breathefume.com. Breathefumefum.com. Click the link in the description. Use promo code garbage. Quit smoking and vaping today. Now back to, to the, the show. show. Um. All right. This one's from uh, Casey. Did you ever have a Pringles Tupperware container in your lunchbox? The fact that you refer to Pringles. You refer to it as Pringles Tupperware is a tough look. I know what you're talking about. What do you? I don't know. Like the it Pringles look, tube? It looks like a Pringles tube, but it's plastic. It's four Pringles. Oh, the stack. Yeah. Oh, Not, I thought you meant like one of these. I'm like, what are you putting a hoagie in there? <laughs> what the? Who would take that to like fucking pull it out? <laughs> like your Nicolas Cage in The Rock? <laughs> No, kid cut by the way. Kids had those. The stackers. And it was like a two piece like a yeah. gotcha. No, none of that shit. It was none of that stuff. You listen, the only way you take Pringles to lunch is in the small can. If you're putting Pringles in a bag, they ain't lasting. Who's getting those though? Growing up in the nineties, they were big. You, I, you no, would get you would get a no. fucking small thing of Pringles. No, I wouldn't. Kids would. Where'd though. you go to school? This, Buckingham Pat, Palace. Get the fuck <laughs> Pat out of did. here. Pat would roll up with that. Really? And Pat was a big Dunkaroos family too. Oh. Mom would never. My mom would never buy dunk. Dude, he was also the first person that had like a proper pantry where you walk into it. Right? Like it's not just like you've been to my mom's where it's like the door opens and it's like recessed in. <laughs> His it was, ain't, let me tell you his something. His was had a light. You say what you want about the piece and her personal life and how she conducts herself, but that pantry is top fucking shelf. We could go there right now, be satisfied. She got a lot of good stuff in there. Who, my mom? Yeah, yeah that, she that does pantry it. was all right. Well, she got the kids. She got the kids there for all the fucking snacks. The and she'll best. splurge on them. She didn't splurge on us. Oh, my fucking niece and nephew, when my parents picked them up from school, they have fucking snacks waiting for them. Fucking this and that. They she's buying movies for him. She just dropped fucking twenty or thirty on Cruella the other night. Wait, is that a never? Whole, that's another thing I want to talk about. Is that a thing? I remember when On Demand came out and to watch like the twenty four hour rental On Demand it was like it was three ninety nine or something. Four ninety nine was the first you could rent a new release or whatever. Not like proper new, but like when it got to On Demand. Let me explain. It something was four ninety nine. 
if that if I did that when I was home from college, if I put a four ninety nine charge, oh, I would be beaten. I uh, dude, I would get a phone call because you wouldn't get it for like two weeks later. I would get a phone call. Did you watch? Uh, you know what I mean? Like fucking whatever. And I'm like, yeah. They're like what do you? I'm like, I'll give you the four bucks. Mm -mm, no, and you give never, me fifty. I'll give you, you four never back. Did. No, never. They add up. I'm still conditioned when I go home. They, my my wife was like, oh, let's watch a movie. I'm like, because we were home and nobody was there. I'm like, okay. And I'm like. I'm going to get a phone call about this. My mom would look over that cable bill like it was a fucking legal document. Yeah. Like like she was fucking Allie McBeal looking over this fucking thing. I don't know any of these girls, but did they go wild or not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never. Ne if you if you stepped anywhere outside the basic cable plan, no. you were fucking, you were getting screamed Put at. Putting your life in your hands. Oh, never. That's never a thing. But now they're fucking, they do whatever they want. Yeah, now that they understand, I think they didn't. They understand it a little bit more. You know what I wanted to talk to you about? What was that, big man? Uh, Belveda cookies. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Wait, but I, I, know the, I know the name, and I know I can see the name written. I can't stress this enough. The Belveda Blueberry Crisp is one they're of the crackers. No, they're I don't know what the, they're like. I think they're like fucking fiber crackers or breakfast breakfast bars or something. This but is, they're cookies. This is mom and kid shit. This I'm, ain't for me, dude. I'm telling no. you right now, they blow your fucking hair back. They are unbelievable. No, I'm telling you, give it a shot. You'll be in here apologizing again. I got a question for you. Sure. I was just down the shore last week. Okay. Uh, went to the, went to the house. Uh huh. If you're doing like sliced cheese at the house for like an app or whatever, you're like you know like pepperoni cheese and pep like a meat plate like a meat cheese and meat. Sure. What kind of cheese are they doing? It's not slices. It's not big squares for sandwiches. No, you fucking asshole. It's Cracker Barrel, chop chop. Already chop. chopped. No, no. Oh, no, that's no, what no, they, no, I no. did. There was a stack of them at the crib. No. <laughs> fucking. I, it's trashy, but there's no middleman, daddy. Oh, there's no, there's no legwork to get that cooking. You get a piece of fucking pepperoni or a fucking Stacy's pita chip. I could go Good through one night. of those cracker ballers like a fucking, oh, yeah, <laughs> like around the AR-15 ammo. <laughs> fucking two seconds. You better be Johnny on the spot with the cracker barrel. <laughs> yeah. Now I've, I know what you're talking about. That's more Costco big bulk kind of shit. No, 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 no. They're, it's like this big. It's like the square cracker barrel thing already sliced. Mm, I don't like that because I, I like. To I don't do, hate it. I got. I like tell to you. do my own thickness. These are thicker than what you would typically do. Yeah. They got a little bit of density to them. I don't like that. Nothing wrong with a little Try it. Give cheese. it a whirl. All I'm saying, give it a whirl. Try the Belveda. I can't. They're too fibery looking. I'm telling you, man. They got fucking like fucking blades of wheat on the front. I'm not the cracker brand. No, thanks. Yeah, what's it called? What are they What are they officially called? Your blueberry Johns? Yeah, no. Belveda. It's not like cookie or cracker. It's like. Bel uh, Belveda it's crackers. Like crackers. Maybe they're biscuits. Biscuits. Yeah. Salt. Yeah. yeah. No. I'm telling you. That's Top like shelf. that's like the shit. Not Vitamix. Active or whatever that you're like. That's like fuck. They look like women's. It looks like it's just for older ladies. <laughs> these boxes. I'm not doing it. Can't do it. Keep your estrogen up. <laughs> yeah. It's shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> Two boxes of those. You got a set of double D's. <laughs> <laughs> and your postmenopausal. <laughs> While we're talking food, I, I had this thought yesterday. I wanted to get your guys' opinion on this. Is there a more garbage fast food establishment than the combination KFC Taco Bell? The Slash <laughs> is known in my in some circles as the Slash. KFC Slash Taco Bell. Damn, that's fire. The Slash. The Baskin Robbins Dunkin' Donuts ain't no fucking uh, Michelin star restaurant either. We I used to have a couple that. of those in a family. Couple, owning them? Yeah. Couple, oh my god. Couple of the franchises. You owned a Dunkin' Donuts? Not, not me personally, but a guy I'm I I'm aware of that. <laughs> <laughs> they made a killing, dude. They Holy made a killing. Shit. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. fucked my they problem. Own the one on, they owned the one on Temple's campus. My problem was, and for, for those out there that don't, is, is Baskin Robbins a, a, a worldwide organization? I think it's nationwide. Okay. It's, if, an, ice, it's an ice cream. If not, it's an, it's an ice cream joint. 31 flavors was the thing. Not now enough when for it, Foley. Now when, <laughs> when they started working with Dunkin' Donuts, it's like eight flavors. And they it's, it's the same bozo that has to work both. And they never want to fuck with the Baskin Robbins. Forget yeah. about getting a sample. It's like you're asking for a kidney. It's fucking trash. And you would think that they would mix it up. Like they would do like a like a iced coffee ice cream float or something. You, Toby. <laughs>
I couldn't agree more. You would think you were making that donuts and ice cream, okay? Give me a glaze and a scoop of Rocky Road. Fucking, a, I don't know, a fucking donut sandwich. Something. I got to fucking think of this for everybody. You know they're doing that for themselves. Oh, my God. I might, I'm sure I've said this on the podcast, but... Dunkin' all, Donuts stinks, by the way. Their coffee sucks. Everything else is pretty good. They know their way around a hash brown. That's though. the only thing they got good. Dunkin' Donuts in New York fucking stinks. Also, those people working the, the counter at the Slash, they got to be whipping up all type of fried chicken, taco. I would be doing that. I always said the only reason I would ever want to work at a fast food place is to make my own stuff. I would have like a Big Mac McMuffin. We talked about this. That's how we got the, I believe that's how we got the McFoley. Uh, okay. Shout out to Torielli Picks. Gotcha. Dude, if you've ever worked at a combination KFC Taco Bell, please tell us the shit you were slapping together. It's got to be pretty bonkos. I would assume. But also, a lot of times when you're around that food, you don't like eating it that much. Nashville hot, chick- hot chicken chalupa, dude? Gets Come old. On. I'm sure it gets old. You see, once you see how the sausage is made, no thank you. Yeah, it's true. Uh, Great question. All right, this was from James Al Goober. Uh <laughs> Kids are clever with the names. What do you want? North American Al Goobers. <laughs> uh, ever had cereal for all three meals? Now, when I I'm, I don't I I feel like you're the same. I get in the never ending bowl of cereal predicament. If I open up, I'm a big Special K guy. Love Special K. Love to bare bone cereal. Good classic. Fucking dump some whole milk in there. Fuck up the roof of your mouth, though. It'll get you. It'll fucking tear you. It's like eating firecrackers. That and, Cap- <laughs> that and Captain Crunch. It's like eating um, broken glass. But I'm crushing that box right like in a sitting for the most part. I'm, I'm doing like fucking 19,000 calories right away. Mm-hmm. I If I open a box, it never really, it's not going to last till dinner. I'm going to like, I'm not going to be able to have the same serving I have in the beginning that I'm going to have in the end. I'd have to have like three boxes of cereal on hand for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Does that make sense? I'm not a cereal as a meal kind of guy, even breakfast. Now, when I was a little kid, sure. But I don't look at cereal now as a meal. That's an in-between. more of an appetizer. That's an in-between snack. I think we're getting to the root of the problem here. That's at like, you know, that's at like, okay, the way I would do cereal would be if I'm ordering breakfast from, from the deli. I'm going to get an omelet. I'm going to get a couple English muffins. I'm going to get the home fries. And then I'm going to get, give me a box of fucking Reese's Puffs. And then after like an hour of having the omelet, I'm going to start. That's, that's in between. That's a, that's a treat. That's not, I don't use that as a meal. A bowl of cereal isn't a meal for me. And it would be multiple bowls of cereal. Yeah. yeah. We've touched on this on the show before, but you got to go for the dirtbag acai bowl. Toss a little scoop of peanut butter on the side of that. A little bite and sip mentality. It's a little little bit of peanut butter every bite. It's a game changer. I'm I I haven't I mean I haven't had the last time I had cereal was the very beginning of the pandemic. I actually I haven't had it in a long time either. It's just such a waste of like I'm trying obviously trying to eat better and stuff, so it's like I'm not gonna sit down and have like fucking three, four bowls of cereal. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'd rather I'd rather get my. I'd rather have that. I'd rather drink beers at night than do that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was looking for a bowl of cereal at my mom's house last weekend. To be honest with you, came up dry. Really? Yeah, bone dry. She's she's, she's running a tight tight ship down there. No bread. The only bread they have is this protein bread that's in the freezer that you'd rather eat a pack of, of fucking baseball cards. <laughs> yeah. than fucking. That's than, tough. That yeah. might the broad does that too. It's like it's actually German bread that they sell here. It's like. It, it looks like a brick. It's I know like an exactly air dry, what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking like about. Like Fiber X or something. That's not that bad. It's not bad. It's not bad when it's like you got to do something to it. You bite one of those, it's like it's a brittle. You know, it like falls up, but crumbles. It ain't easy to eat. You got to fucking hit it with a torch or something. Let me ask you this. You ever been hemmed up no milk and had to improvise a cereal Liquid substitute? No, the cereal no. goes back in the fucking box. Yeah, we've and I call about I call this. Domino's. Did, yeah, that's stop. crazy no. to me. We're not even going down that road. <laughs> that's nuts. I don't want to hear about you and your fucking A and W mini wheats. All right. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tropicana special case. No. Um, never. Never. Yogurt. Oh that, sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, come right. on. That's yogurt. a fucking meat. That's a dish. But you can't put fucking cocoa puffs and fucking people. We've gotten yogurt. that question a lot, and some it's like, hey, did you ever use water? It's like, nah, that's Get fucking the fuck out of here. Boncos. That's Hooverville shit. Yeah, no way. I'm a that. fucking gentleman. I'm gonna spend yeah. my last ten bucks on delivery. Okay. Yeah. No, not since the new deal's been signed. <laughs> um. Hmm. 
This one's pretty good. This is from Matthew, uh, new to Patreon. Is it garbage to fall asleep in public, like in a waiting room or an airport terminal or something like that? <laughs> a waiting room's a tough look. If you're nodding off in a waiting room. Dude, the head bob, too. It's like you're on Oxycontin. You're fucking going down and coming up, going down and coming up. That's bad. It ain't good. Yeah, I you fell asleep sh- on the set a few weeks ago, like around people. <sighs> oh, yeah. You always, you wake up, you feel so vulnerable. You start looking around. I can around. hear myself snoring, and it wakes me up, so I know I must have been snoring for at least five minutes before. Really? Yeah, fucking. Those naps, though, you're never more tired when than you when come you're up sitting from it, yeah. there. It's like sitting in church. It's just the sleep is just so enticing. Remember falling asleep in school? I made a living at falling asleep in high school. Oh, I never fell asleep in high school. What? Put your head down on your desk and fucking crank out? No. Oh, my God. You sleep like an angel. Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh, Never did best. that, I don't think. That AC. You always wake up a little bit and you feel like the drool sure, on your lip. You're sure. like, oh, uh, yeah. No. Oh, no. I used to love. It's too vulnerable. I got my fucking head on a swivel. I can't be caught fucking literally sleeping. Jesus Christ. No. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who's after me, but they ain't going to fucking catch me slipping. <laughs> tell you that much. Check your motherfucking six. <laughs> it's a school, that's the school I come from. <laughs> Step one, check your six. Where'd you go to school? Step Top- two, check your six again. They might be fucking serpents lurk, okay? Where'd you go to school, Top Gun? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This, guy, this guy's no. not playing around. Yeah, man. I don't like fucking sleeping in public. School? I don't even like sleeping. I We used to do those those late night movies a few years ago with all the comedians. would mm-hmm. go for like the big releases. And some of those I would fucking nod out of because they were like the midnight showings or 1235 showings. I was up for fucking work at 7 or 8 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Then work all day comedy all night spots or whatever then go to that and by like fucking you know midway through the first act i'm fucking oh, not sleeping all. in a movie theater is the fucking best i know but then i'm also the so mad are going <laughs> but i'm if like i got a fucking weak plot line i'm out yeah but that but then that ride home at fucking 2 30 a.m it's like you're leaving the bar you're like all <laughs> fucking ugh. i'm like i wish i just would have stayed home and slept <laughs> this one off or just finish the night out in the theater <laughs> <laughs> wake up catch a matinee and bounce <laughs> <laughs> You're at the concession saying, What do you guys have for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> you have any French toast back there? You guys do pancakes to order? Oh, man. Uh, this is from Eric. Uh, did you ever have to go to work with your parents as a kid? My son's with me all week because daycare is true to fucking roof. <laughs> We've touched on that. I was a big go to work with the big go to work with my dad. Even my mom. My mom worked in a hospital. I went with her sometimes. <laughs> They're just hanging out in the lab. You're making rounds. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, this guy ain't going to make it. <laughs> hey, buddy, is your wife here? I got to talk to her. Uh, I went, I would, every once in a while. <laughs> you thought about getting your affairs in order? <laughs> um, but my pop was in the Navy when I was, when I was little, and he was stationed at. Uh, you want an aircraft carrier? <laughs> <laughs> I'm launching F-14s. <laughs> you got the headset with the fucking thing. These Russians ain't playing around. That fat kid's out on the deck again. <laughs> <clears throat> um, two parts to that. My dad, so every once in a while, it wasn't because of daycare, or maybe it was. We never went to, like, proper daycare. No. Not, we, nobody ever paid for... My supervision. No, that was never, that was never on the table. No. It was my They'd brother and sister the fu- watched. They me. would put me in a kennel before I before I was going to something like that. It was an aunt. My aunt Mary Catherine watched me mm-hmm. when I was growing up. It was fucking. She did it with uh, a few different generations, but for a while, like my me and my brother are two years apart. But for some reason, I don't know where the fuck he went. Uh, if he was maybe already like in kindergarten or something like that. But I remember I was with my aunt Mary Catherine, fucking in Wilkesbury. Every day for like, you know, a year or two. And we had our routine. I'd get there. She'd have my snack ready. I'd have the box of toys that her sons left. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because they were like five years older. Sure. She would do her chores and shit like that. We'd ship it over to fucking 12 o'clock mass at Holy Saver. Come back. Fucking lunch. She'd start working on dinner. Holy Saver? Holy Savior, sorry. She'd start working. Sounds like a a religious fucking supermarket. (laughs) (laughs) Holy Saver? Come on down to the Holy Saver. (laughs) The price of Christ compels you. (laughs) Sale so good, you'll burn in hell. (laughs) (laughs) No, she would start dinner. I'd watch my cartoons, do my thing. It was fucking heaven. It was paradise. Yeah. It was unbelievable. 
Um, so never was I ever getting any. That does suck now. I know my buddy who has a kid now. He's like, yeah, fucking daycare is like fucking 10 G's. Yeah. Or something like that. Well, yeah. I never trust those places. Well, my, well, my especially si- the ones in the city. You ever drive by one? And you're like, that's a fucking nurse. That's where fucking daycare is going on. Well, my sister, my sister's got a pretty good. My sister and her kids got a pretty good deal. There's like a, a girl in the neighborhood who's like. They've run it out of the hat. It's I don't know. It's not like commissioned, but it's this girl that they've known for years. Like people have like she's like older. She's probably like 50 or something. Nancy or Amy or something. <laughs> and she just has like the neighborhood kit. Like she watches the kids in the neighborhood. And I don't know how much it is. Nancy's daycare and dog fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a saw buck on the little blonde. Kid. I don't like that. Man. Dude, you can't be sending your kids to an off the books daycare. Yeah, no it's, more shit, of a ba- man. it's more of a babysitter. You know what I mean? I can't, dude. You've had to have heard this before. You've never heard of that. No, that's crazy. Under the table, get out of here. Yeah, for sure. It's a babysitter. A babysitter comes to your house. Okay, but that's how it started. It was like, oh, I can babysit your kids or whatever. And then it was like, hey, when they're going back to school, like I'm having the the Smiths and the Stevensons are sending their two youngest that aren't going to school over, and I'll watch the three of them type thing. I don't know. It's about been that. good. You can't drop your kids off somewhere where there's a cash only sign. <laughs> <laughs> I think she takes Venmo. <laughs> yeah, nah. I was at Aunt Mary Kay's fucking chilling. Yeah. Like a villain. But on special occasions, not out of necessity, but my dad, the one place he was stationed when I was young was uh was a Voca Air Station or a Voca Naval Base, which is in the middle of Wilkesbury. I don't know what the fuck was going on. But there was there wasn't ship one, I can tell you that. Yeah. <clears throat> I was a recruiting station because my dad did. He was a recruiter. We'd go there every once in a while, and that was like a fucking, that was like a treat. There was like a torpedo in the lobby, and like they would have like National Guard trucks and shit like that running it out of there. Fucking commissary. It was fucking nice. But my mom worked at the Gap back in the day at the Wyoming Valley Mall, and I remember like legit going to work with her and like hanging out like in the storage room. And, like, me and my brother would get to, like, run around the mall a little bit. That's where I saw Return of the Jedi for the first time. Shout out to it. Um, Jesus. But I remember, like, legit just being in the store and, like, hanging on my mom while she was, like, dealing with customers. Could you imagine? Could you imagine today? Hanging out at the Gap? No. Could you imagine you're trying to make a purchase at a fucking clothing store? That's what I'm saying. And you're fucking, you're trying to, you're banging Some your mom for ice cream money. fucking yeah. running around? Yeah. yeah. I got caught stealing from her at that gap. A pair of chinos. <laughs> <laughs> Patty, your your kid has three pairs of pants on right now. Fifteen shirts. Nah, I took money out of her purse for a soft. Oh, pretzel. stealing from her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah Not yeah, to yeah. register. Uh, but I didn't know what you meant. I thought you were stealing merch. Took the credit card machine. <laughs> Ah, uh, <laughs> that's a tough look going to work with your parents. Yeah, I did it a couple times. I remember it was a couple times. I remember being in like because my mom was like a she worked in the lab at hospitals and doctors. All I remember the being, lab. You were in the lab. Yeah, I was in places I probably. Should. Would you have like a fucking a, a scrub suit on? No. Like the, we, like, I had my fucking DC t-shirt and my skateboard. You were like one of the dudes in the Wuhan lab with like a fucking <laughs> like a space like helmet. Homer. <laughs> who got the Who got the gummy bears and the blood samples? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, that was, that was always, that wasn't a lot, but my dad owned his own company. So that was That's like, a little different. Yeah. Can't say nothing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You running around I, the shop is one thing. Yeah. I used to ride my mini bike indoors and they would get so mad. Oh my God. <laughs> Shout out to the mini bike. <laughs> Big head little fucker. Yeah. Wait for the lunch truck. The to lunch truck came and was like, yo, these fumes are killing me. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, miss. We did everything we could, but the surgery was not as, <laughs> 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 I'm not in the hospital. <laughs> It was the same dirt bike from Dumb and Dumber that he trades the kid straight up cash uh, or straight great. up in town, trades the van. Same one, the that's hog, great. we used to call it. Going right through the emergency room. <laughs> <laughs> Watch me do a figure eight, Mom. But that was always fun. Now, obviously, I mean, people get hemmed up. Fucking like I said, that shit's expensive. You do what you got to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like using off the books lady in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yep. Welcome to the Underground Railroad Daycare, everybody. <laughs> we have to leave at dusk. 
That's fucking shifty. But then but, she's also got the, my mom's watching the kids like full time. She's got my brother's kids. She's got the, my sister's. And I'm that's like, that's what you need. You need a support system. And I, I know it's fucking. I think tough she's tapping out a bit though. I think she's going, yo. Oh, I'm sure. Fucking, I'm like, she's now six kids in. You got, you have six. They each have of- three. Jesus Christ. Yeah, she's been watching fucking kids for the past decade. Yeah, no shit. She's in her fucking golden years. Oh, yeah. She's trying to get it in and get it out. What? You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do not, Henry. Why don't you she's explain it to be me? Chasing T-Bone, r- timestamp this. I'm going to send her this clip. I get that vibe, too, that my mom wishes she was stepping out a little bit. She's, she's hemmed up. She's busy. Yeah. Deals with the kids, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, watch, I wouldn't. I'd be like, fucking, here's money. Go get daycare or something. Put them in the after school program. Oh, there you go. The piece could do that. She's got yeah. the flex. She's talking about getting away, too. Talking right. about Florida. Really? Getting away. Getting Not moving. Town. Yeah. Oh, uh, I would hate that. I could never, I would never want to be Not that if far I get away that from house. my parents. Oh, there you go. Tooties, too. Tooties, too. Tooties, Sal. Whoa. Now we're talking. I'm talking about the one they live in now. Yeah, the yeah, house. To turn a proper basement into tooties. Oh, that'd be Game cool. room, pool table. I don't know if it can make the turn. <laughs> that was always the big problem with that basement. Be tough the getting turn. guests down there, though. <laughs> yeah. Uber. Um, all right, let's see. Pay $900 to get Ian Fidance down to fucking Blue Bell. <laughs> um, all right, this is from Publuski. Publuski. Uh, do you rinse off your fruit before you eat it? I'm a, I have to. I mentally, I need to rinse kind of anything I, I do. I know what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> that you eat fruit. <laughs> <laughs> do you wash off your Pringles, Foley? <laughs> um, I wash my chicken. I don't do that, and I found out you shouldn't do that. I never did that growing up. I wash everything: chicken, salmon. But why are you? Why do you think you're washing it's chicken? It's all slimy. Mm. Yeah, but you're cooked. People say you should wash chicken, which I don't fucking get because it's like. Not with soap and water. I just rinse yeah. it with water and then I put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> comes out, comes out fucking medium. Throw a Tide Pod in there. Uh, um, they're saying so you shouldn't. You shouldn't. It's also because it creates more of a fucking mess. Now you have wet. Now that yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. So you have salmonella everywhere. Yeah, it's like now that's all over the fucking. That's place. why they invented Lysol wipes. <laughs> Okay. Via, via the CDC, do not wash raw chicken. During washing, chicken juices can spread in the kitchen and yeah. contaminate other foods. Yeah. I'm not. I'm, I'm washing my chicken. I don't like that slime. We never did growing up. And then to my wife was like, you got to wash it. And she makes me wash it. I'm like, get out. I'm not washing the chicken. Because then I'm the one drying it. She don't like touching it. Then it's on my hands. I'm I'm like, I'm not doing. I'm. If you want me to do it, I'm doing it the way I do it. I'm not doing it the way you do it. My one friend's mom. If you want to do it, you do it. My one friend's mom wouldn't dry, uh, wash it, but she would have it dry cleaned. And we'd. <laughs> Hanger steak, extra starch, not bad. Not bad at all. Kippy is about to choke mm. on his water. Man, you got me right at the gotcha. right at the perfect time. Um, fruit. I yeah, I watch everything. I don't. I don't. Because I was getting yelled at because I didn't watch uh wash uh donut peach. You know what a donut peach is? It's always donuts with you. <laughs> Even your fruit. <laughs> Yo, you ever had an angel food apple? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck angel food cake. That stuff sucks. That fluffy shit. Can I get some brownie bananas? Uh, brutal. <laughs> no, uh, donut uh, peaches. They're delicious. They're in season right now, too. No, I never wash anything. I should. I hate when you start I, with your underwear. <laughs> I hate like grapes. Grapes look really dirty. I'm allergic to grapes. That's a weird. As I got older, I'm allergic to the skin. How do you drink wine? It's got to be processed. It's got to be processed. Um, I, yeah, man. Same thing with carrots. Carrots, the skin, and like you have to. There's a protein in it. This just started probably like maybe five years ago. There's a protein in the raw produce skin that I get. It fucking my fucking throat starts itching. My fucking yeah, my asthma kicks in. Head swells up. Eyebrows get bad. Head swells up. PP gets small. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been suffering for years. See, I got that too. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a tough look. The one time my wife was like, yeah, fucking sk- do something with the carrot. And like, I got in the air and then I was breathing. Dude, I looked like my eyes swelled up. My fucking, my throat was, sw- it was a tough look. Look at how I beat up. Oh, man. Yeah. So I got to boil my carrots before I eat them. Really? Yeah. <sighs> tough guy. Man. I know. Jesus. I know. Toby, cut that. Boil your carrots. I'm not proud. I got, I got too, much time, too much work on my hands cutting myself out of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is from Miller Light 30, and I do not condone this. First time question 
ever refer to the length of a car ride by how many beers you can drink on the ride. <laughs> As in, that ride out to Wildwood is at least a six-beer ride. I don't, con- I don't agree with this, and I'm happy with the changes to drinking and driving we've made since the 80s and 90s, Man. which seemed, looking back, lawless. I don't know if that was just the circles I was operating in as an eight-year-old. Uh, it just seemed a lot of parents fucking drove. A lot of open booze. containers. Lot, you know. I remember the one time I was talking to my dad. I'm like, "Yeah, I'm going to the mall." He's like, "No drinking and driving." I'm like, "Are you drinking on the way to the mall?" <laughs> I wonder why your outfits stink. <laughs> I wonder why you're dressed like a fucking jerk off. You're drunk at Macy's, sweatpants and button downs, <laughs> <laughs> and pennies all boozed up, yes. looking for deals. Don't be drinking on the way to the mall. It's crazy. Yeah. No, no. Drinking and driving, I don't do it. I don't do it. I don't condone it. One if you're thing doing my, it, stop it. That and the seatbelt. My dad put the fear of God into us when we were uh, kids. Oh, we, seatbelts were dorks. If you Really? Never. Never. What? My dad would make me do it in the front seat if we were, like, young. He would also play it. I was also at the age where they were like, hey, if you're under 12. I was already in the front seat as a kid. And then they were like, yeah, hey, kids under 12 shouldn't be in the front seat. I was like seven. I'm like, do we have to listen to that? He's like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> there would be times hop in the back. If we were, like, pulling up to a checkpoint or a cop or whatever, hop in the back. Because I wasn't allowed in the front. Jesus Christ. Yeah. You ever, you ever pull the, the hold the wheel? As a kid, dude, you I've, I've, held the wheel. Wheel. I've held beers when we've gotten fucking hemmed up. I've held the wheel. When he thinks wheel. someone's coming, at, when, when somebody was coming, hey, hold that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Officer, this <laughs> kid. Officer, <laughs> officer this, this seven-year-old's all fucking drunk over here. Picking him up from the bar. I'm Mahoney's. I'm taking him home. <laughs> Can't get this kid to dry out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, they'll take you to foster care, but they ain't taking me to jail. Yeah, it um, was... Uh, yeah. Steer holding the wheel. That was holding the wheel that was, was big. big. That, here, grab the wheel. Oh. Yeah. Nothing makes me feel more than my dad when I'm reaching for money while I'm driving and you gotta do this. Mm-hmm. Put the leg up and the lean back. And mm-hmm. like, I'll say to my wife, like, hey, but grab the wheel, I gotta you know what I mean? <laughs> now I got the easy pass. I ain't reaching for cage no more. Which by the okay, that's more of a hard feelings. We'll get into it. I got a fucking bone to pick. With the Easy Pass. Really? And the NYPD. Making you pay your bill? <laughs> fucking tune in to the next hard feelings. I got some shit to say. I yelled at a fucking ticket guy yesterday. Really? We'll get into it. A little teaser. A little epitheser. Mm. Yeah. Fucking whatever. Moving forward. Mm-hmm. This is from Dylan. Have you ever let a, sit, a sig backwards in front of someone you were trying to impress? That shit fucks you up, man. Gives Did, you a headache. Yeah, but- I've done it. Walking out on a deck after about eight or nine beers, it's dark out. You're not. You're like a, a little too drunk, and you like saw what hands. You're talking. It's always the talk before the light. You get disoriented. Running your mouth. You don't realize what way it's turned. You fucking <laughs> fucking get a stinger real Here's quick. There's a sub question to that. What's Have you that? ever had to smoke that cigarette after you've torched it? No, I always. I've done it where it's my last cig, and I'm like, this is out of a bad movie. Mm-hmm. Like I'm like, I just. Smoked my last cig backwards. Ugh. No, I've also been really drunk at this kid Justin's house in high school, and just that house particularly. What? No, this is where this story. Oh, one happened. time, okay. One time I was there really. I drunk. You mean you got drunk there frequently? We did. I mean, it was. I don't. I don't know where his parents were, but it was a. It was a. It was one. Of, it was a town. Shout out to those houses. It was a townhouse, single mom townhouse, where you could get in from the back, like the front. It was on a hill, like so. The front was like street level, but then they had an exposed basement, mm-hmm. like a sliding door to the basement, mm-hmm. so you could get out. I okay. don't know why you're looking at me so inquisitively. I don't know. You're like, hmm? <laughs> I'm trying to wrap your head around a basement that you can walk out of. Yeah, most. Yeah, that's normal. No, most basements are underground. I understand what you're saying, though. We we had a. We, you could get out of our our first house. You can get out through the basement. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Sure, yeah, I don't know. Did um, you want to discuss architectural? Uh, no, you were just giving me a look like you didn't understand what I was saying, and then went, yeah, I know, I have a house like that. I was listening to you. And fucking your brow was off. What's that got to do with the house? Because we could sneak, we could just go into the basement. Oh, That's what I'm saying. Yeah, up. just like, I'd never been upstairs of that house. Wow. I came in and out of the basement. The mom, I don't know, she was working third shift or what she was doing, but she wasn't around. So we were in there, but I was all banged up the one night, and I the SIG was lit. And I'm talking, you know, trying to be funny, whatever. And I, the SIG somehow got twisted in my fingers, so I'm holding the lit SIG backwards. Fucking, I'm on the front deck holding court, dude. <laughs> holding court. I think I'm Johnny. F- I, f- I feel like Zach Morris in the Toga Party episode. <laughs> and I got the fucking SIG backwards. 
Dude, I it literally I felt I thought I swallowed a bee, dude. My yeah, fucking everyone's like, what the fuck? Cherries flying everywhere. It was a bad, <laughs> bad scene. Bad scene. You burnt your oh man. Oh that's... yeah. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck's wrong with Captain? I've done that smoking a joint like you fucking sucked a cherry in or something oh, like that. No, yeah. It's a tough one. It's a bad one. Have you ever seen this? I haven't seen this in probably 20 years. <laughs> but you ever seen someone get hit with the exploding tip? What? No. Like a fucking cartoon? No. Who are you, hanging out with Johnny Knoxville? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, what's the Roadrunner like? <laughs> Dude, if you did fuck? some shit like that, you, you were fighting. <laughs> yeah, did you ever get hit with an anvil? What? <laughs> no, you know it's what people fall for um, on the golf course is that exploding golf ball. That'll get people. Did you ever see that? No. It's like chalk. Like a gender reveal? <laughs> no, it's like chalk. And it looks like... A, it lo- and I've never... I've seen it like on like videos and stuff. What they do is like they switch out the ball when the guy's not looking. So when you hit it, it just turns into a big dust cloud. You know what I mean? It's like, Phew. that'll get you. I've seen that before. You have never seen rage like someone who thinks they're about to just fucking cool out with a fat dart and just fucking. Boosh, I don't even get that. Up. That seems dangerous. <laughs> it's not safe. <laughs> <laughs> That's like those exploding, those candles that don't go out. I don't fuck with. <laughs> Dude, if you brought those to a party, it was the last time you were invited to the fucking party. No. I'm trying to get my cake on, dog. Yeah. Fucking sitting here doing fucking childish pranks. It's fire hazard. Let's go. Full, full. I can just imagine you losing it as a kid. Like, my wishes won't come true. <laughs> well, my wish was to eat the cake. So, yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> hemming me up. Uh, that's mm. good. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, fuck that. There had to have been a string of house fires in the 80s due to the candles that won't go out. Yeah, for sure. Sh- I mean, yeah. Did you ever see the? This was back on like not America's Funniest Videos because it wasn't that funny, but like most extreme or can't believe caught on tape. It was a firework factory in like Beijing or something. Man, talk about the Fourth of July. This thing went up, and like they were like spraying hoses. They're like, we just gotta let this thing burn out. <laughs> yeah, there was shit. fucking snakes, Roman, ca- everything was happening <laughs> in that place. It was just popping. He did that one time at my buddy, uh, my buddy's house. Again, his dad, single parent, dad, cool dad, big house out in the middle of nowhere. Like, you know, like you had a dream. It was like 15 minutes outside of where I live. So it was even more like rural. It was rural rather than suburban, you know, Mm -hmm. single dad. He he was always out. We were just always boozing and shit. Somebody had fireworks. So we're like, oh, it's cool. And they had they were building a a pool house, right? They had a lot of cash. They were building a pool house. So it was just the found just the basement was poured. the, The foundation was poured of the pool house it was just concrete okay right so it was like concrete with like a couple of rooms you know um so we're like oh let's light it in there like nothing's going to catch fire or whatever you know so we like lit it in there and just Jason was made of gunpowder <laughs> 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 just as we lit it his dad came i don't know what happened but his dad turned the co- as we were all running out of the basement his dad turned the corner like what's going on folks we're like hit the deck <laughs> fucking dude he started fucking mortars and roman candles flying by his head it was a scene <laughs> Had to fucking lay low there for a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> the party's there stopped real quick. Catch you next summer. Yeah. Out. Um, he was also the guy that had a kegerator with a lock on They put a lock on it. But there was like a little bit of wiggle room in the lock. So you could like pull the tap like a fucking smidge. You had to really put fucking pressure on it. And it would open the valve the slightest bit. And we would fill up pitchers with it. And it would take like 40 minutes to fill up a pitcher because it was just like really dripping out. So we would just fucking do that, go hang, come back at a fresh fucking <laughs> fresh pitcher of Coors or whatever. And I remember the it was like locked up what he thought for like three months. Like no one's ever touched this and his dad was having a party. Fucking <laughs> everybody's coming over. Nah, I got plenty of Coors. <laughs> yeah, the- brand new keg. It's been locked. Dude, he opened that up and was <laughs> pissed. He had to have someone go do a beer run for like 40 people. <laughs> like they were all at the house. That's awesome. Tough luck. What? Oh, I thought you were going to say something. Oh, no, I don't know. Fucking going on a beer run with a hand truck is a tough look. We did. We Toby's to... got the goofies today. <laughs> he is. He's like, kids a little. I got two kid. hours of sleep and I haven't eaten all day. <laughs> oh my I'm literally bit. cutting myself out of this entire episode. <laughs> I'm not even. It's not a joke. That, too, including right now. Uh, it's fine. And we're back. This one came in on Facebook and it was pretty good. They tagged. I think they might have tagged both of us, but they tagged me in it. 
Uh, and then we can wrap it up. This is uh, from Trevin. Trevin? Trevin? Okay. Um, blockbuster ever send your account to collections? Man. Do you ever get hemmed up? We never got hemmed up bad with them. We, uh, we, I know we got My hem- mom was big on not paying the fees. We're not, we're getting this back on time. We've moved on from several independent video stores. The old burn and turn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it got to a point because what would happen would be like, there was never a problem if my mom and dad went. If my mom and dad went and we went together and we got fucking Goonies, Raiders of the Lost Ark or whatever, the we go back. They would make sure that those cassettes were returned on time. Mm-hmm. The problem was whenever they gave us the liberty to be adults. If you go, got older. To go ourselves, we would go and get something. We take it to fucking Joey's house. I'll bring it. We'd Joey's watch like, it there. I didn't finish it. I want to show my brother. I'll yeah. give it back. Now to the in case school. is gone. The yeah. fucking the, the cassette's just by itself. Mm-hmm. So we would get hemmed up where there would be notices or they'd be calling, hey, you owe a hundred dollars for fucking weekend to Bernie's too. <laughs> my mom would just move on to the next video store. Sure. They're repo in your car over look who's talking <laughs> yeah. now. They, they come and take your VCR. <laughs> you wake up, they're stealing your VCR. Put a lock on our VCR. <laughs> yeah. No, we would just we would just keep it moving. Yeah. But I remember like that stuff. That would like pant like in the that oh, was, they put a boot on Top Gun. <laughs> <laughs> when Tom Cruise shows up. Hey, what the fuck, man? No? Okay, fair <laughs> enough. He doesn't have to. Uh, I'll cut that for you, too, Foley. I got, like, I got a lot of work to do on this episode, man. <laughs> You're going to be like Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> this episode's going to be 15 minutes. <laughs> All right, let's wrap it up. Gang, listen, we love you. We will uh, see you next time. Kippy, what do you got for him? Guys, as always, we fucking appreciate the support. Um, and we're thinking of new reward challenges for the Patreon. Uh, so if you got some ideas, let us up. We're thinking a golf challenge between the three of us. Thinking of the Are You Garbage Invitational. Invitational. Yeah. Maybe find a course that'll play ball, a couple of cameras. We do. We can go out to Flushing Meadows, pitch I, and putt. I'm not, you I know what? No. Since it's the Invitational, maybe we should bring along a couple special guests. Wow. Ooh. Play around the golf with us. I was huh. thinking you meant comedians. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought you meant special guests like. Fans, fans, listeners, yeah, but then it's only it's the, then that that sucks because if somebody's in Milwaukee, like sure. it's, so, you're limiting sure the pool of people that sure, 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 you know sure, are sure. able to do it. There'll be no airfare included. Yeah, you can't be like, hey, come on out to New- get yourself to New York for five grand and we'll play golf with you for an hour. <laughs> That's not fucking fair. And then ice you on lunch. <laughs> you're picking up the beer cart too, right? Uh, yeah, so we'll figure something out, but I think that might be good. A couple of guys go out, play a round of golf, be couple fun. of beers, couple of Bernies. couple of Bernies, couple of beers, yeah. nothing wrong with it. I All got right. a quick church announcement. Sure. Church? Uh, yeah, that's kind of what it feels like, right? The church bulletin board. Okay. Not really, but proceed. Go right ahead, my- I got that too, man. <laughs> go right ahead, my young Christian friend. Yeah. <laughs> come on down to Holy Savers. <laughs> uh, it, Holy Savers. Come on. It's good. We got a new merch run coming up. Uh-huh. Uh, so if you're a designer and you want to send me some of your work, just DM it to me at Toby.McMullen. We want to get involved with maybe a fan, help us design some of these yeah, things. Yeah, we're looking for some cool designs, uh, so shoot them, and uh, you know, you'll obviously be compensated for your pay, for your work. Excellent. If we proceed with it, that yeah, is. Excellent. I love Don't be it. sending me a stick figure and asking and a Venmo request at the same now, time. Now, can anybody submit to that? You cannot, no. <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right. All right, let's go. We love you. Peace.